You guys be careful these days. He doesn't look anything like the webtoon. Thinner than me. <laughs> date today. One of our New Year's resolutions was to go on more dates together, like outings and stuff. So but we are traveling a lot. Like we are going to Portugal next week. I'll probably be in Portugal by the time this goes up. But apparently Jimmy said we're seeing some kind of show today. So also, I don't know if this is just Korea, but you guys be careful these days because everybody is catching the flu. Okay, so we're at the show. Apparently, we don't sit at this show, it's just standing. I have no idea what this is. It's a very different kind of performance. Like, it's very interactive. It's not like a stage, and you just watch a stage, I think. Like, you'll see, it's hard to describe. I hope you like it, but I think it's more fun than sitting in one play. That show was so good. Jimmy did such a good job on this date. I could not have predicted what we were gonna watch. It was so good. It's like very interactive. I don't wanna spoil it. I feel like you guys should just like either look it up, but don't look up too much stuff because I think the best part of it was like I had no idea what I was getting into. Yeah, it was a great show. I can see why it's like so popular. Yeah. But now we are gonna go eat to maybe walk around a little bit. My head's gotta be bigger. So before Kiki gets home, I'm gonna try and take down this tree. It's only January 2nd, but I like to clean up the Christmas stuff as early as possible, because in my heart, I know it's not Christmas anymore. Although I wanna hold on to the idea, but I have a lot of Christmas stuff. Like I have all of these Christmas pillows. I have that, stockings, and some other stuff here and there. So I'm gonna try and get this done. This is my least favorite part. You know that new drama that just came out? And it's based off that webtoon, which I started reading, but I stopped when I heard that this drama was coming out. So, but anyways, it's called like After Marriage or something like that. The webtoon's really good. So hopefully drama adaptation is also good. Has some pretty famous actors in it. Apothecary Diaries it is. and I'm starting the marry my husband drama that's based on the webtoon but anyways I'm so excited because this is a very satisfying story <laughs> <I'm not> 
She's a bad girl. She's a, she's a bad girl. I forgot everything about this drama. She is the bad girl. She's so the bad girl. Her best friend is the bad girl. Okay. I didn't realize it was like her best best friend. I thought she was just like a good friend. Oh my god! Was this in the webtoon? The why is the mom so mean? This is so creepy. If a taxi driver did this to me, I would freak out. What? She said the living should go on living. <gasps> this is the guy they casted for the boss? He doesn't look anything like the webtoon. I'm getting ready to go meet Jenny. We're gonna have dinner together. I feel like I've been going to Songsu so much lately, but that's where I'm going tonight. I'm gonna try this new cushion from Clio Cosmetics. The packaging's so cute. I think this is the right shade. I actually think this foundation is just a little too light. I'm just gonna pat some into my neck so that it blends in. I don't wanna restart this process. I don't think it's like so light that it looks crazy though. So I think I talked about, about how I've been like really down on the way my body looks and stuff. And I feel like usually I'm okay. But I think the moments that make me feel like that actually have a lot to do with living. <coughs> I, I lost my train of thought because Haku came home. Anyways, I was saying, I think a lot of it actually has to do with living in Korea. This is also just like my personal experience. So I'm not saying that everybody who moves here from a different place will feel this way. But I feel like I'm really hard on my body compared to how I used to be when I was living in the States. Granted, I think my whole life I've always felt like I could be skinnier, but I really feel that on another level living here. And a lot of it has to do with like shopping. So whenever I go shopping here, bottoms very rarely fit me. Tops actually, tops are actually harder for me to find as well because I think I have a wider rib cage. Obviously with my boob job as well, like my chest is a bit bigger, but my bone right here is just bigger, I feel like. So a lot of blouses actually don't like really fit me up here. And it's always been like that, even before my boob job. Anyways, so it's just stuff like that. Like embarrassing when I'm trying something on and it doesn't fit me. And that really shouldn't feel embarrassing because because like who cares, right? But I think living here when a majority of my female peers are much thinner than me, they just look more petite than me. Like when I stand next to them to take photos and stuff, it gets... Also, sorry, my dogs are really going at it playing. But anyways, it gets really disheartening and I become very hard on myself. And I also feel like as a content creator, like a lot of these, I really love clothes, which is why I make those reels where I'm like styling outfits and blah, blah, blah. But again, a lot of my female peers are smaller than me. So clothes that fit them do not look the same on me. They don't feel like they give off the same vibe when it's on me. Anyways, I do feel a lot of pressure to just look thinner. It's just hard because I feel like I saw this TikTok the other day and my mom and they basically said like your mind is in a constant battle of like, I need to lose weight, but you should love your body. But I need to lose weight, but you should love your body. That's how I feel. But Jimmy always reminds me that even those people that I feel like in my eyes have like the beauty standard, like perfect body. They probably have insecurities that they worry about all the time as well. For example, I'm not trying to brag right now, okay? But Jimmy, you guys know if you've seen Jimmy, if you've seen his Instagram and stuff, but he has quite a good body. Very much usually always has a six pack or a four pack at least. He's very meticulous about keeping his body very in shape. Don't even get me started on how I compare myself to him all the time. But anyways, he was just telling me like, he knows that he has a pretty fit body, 
but it's still to him like doesn't feel good enough sometimes. He definitely like enjoys the way he looks, but like he'll see people at the gym who are like bigger than him or more lean than him. And he's like, oh, I could be better. I should look better, which is crazy. Cause I'm like, look at you. I guess that just goes to show that everybody is dealing with something about their body. Anyways, I want to clarify that because I was going to talk about it while I was like talking about it, but sometimes I feel like it's just like too negative. Like I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like so negative about it. And honestly, that was like a question I get a lot. It's like, oh, how do you like feel living in Korea in terms of the beauty standards and stuff like this? I feel different. I always hesitated to answer because I never wanted to seem like I'm saying that Korea has made me feel this way, but it does feel like there's like a little bit more pressure here or it just could be because my mental state is like a little weaker. I don't know. Or maybe I'm like a little more sensitive. I'm gonna use a lip color from Oanier and this is in the shade Love More. I actually bought this because I don't think I have this shade. I have like all, I thought I had a lot of their shades, but I don't have this one. <gasps> That's so pretty. You know, I look crazy right now but the bangs will fall, okay? I have to do this so that my bangs will like stay a little bit curly throughout the day. I'll be back, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. You can't really like not look like a snowman during the winter in Korea. No, I look like a snowman. You do, you, here. I just OOTD time. Oh, this is a new camera. It is a new camera. Ooh. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Oh, it's super cool. And then flip? it like flips like <gasps> and Then you can record like Ooh. this. But then there's also Ooh. set it in vlog. This is the ultimate vlogger's camera. I think they probably made this camera for that. snow today is crazy it's supposed to be like 10 centimeters or something but it's so beautiful it's like soft consistently falling snow sleeping but first I use toner this is from skin 101004 it's our centella toner they came out with this line of a lot of centella products and I really love it then I put on this pro bio Sica intensive ampule this is also made with centella I just started using this like I want to say like a month ago Dude, you guys really need to try this. Cause, wait, let me look up like exactly what this does. It's an all rounder product to help with replenishment, soothing, softening, rejuvenation. The main effects, soothes blemishes, reduces excess oil production, diminishes appearance of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, hydration, and strengthens skin barrier, but it says hydration like no other. I think that's what I like about this. In the winter, also I'm putting on retinol. This is from Paul's Choice. This is 0.3% retinol and 2% bakuchiol. I think there's some strict rules about retinol in Korea. That's why it's like retinol bakuchiol. 
Anyway, so that serum I really love because before I was just using like a toner and then whatever comes after like in the day, B vitamin C, at night sometimes it's like AHA, BHA, whatever, retinol. But my skin was like just so dry. Like 30 minutes later, I would come back and put on some more moisturizer. And it's not like I'm not putting the lotion onto damp skin. Like I know I'm supposed to have damp skin and then put all my products on and then use the moisturizer to like lock in the hydration. I was doing that and yet my skin was still feeling like tight. Anyways, I started using the ampule. I do it morning and night and my skin does not feel like super tight anymore, super dry. I really like that product. I got it a while ago. But I have so many skincare products that I like to like finish the ones that I'm like currently using that I kind of forgot about it. But then I saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this for my skin and no regrets. Anyways, that was my skincare routine. The moisturizer that I just used was from Sunjong from Etude House. They changed the packaging. I don't know if they changed the formula because I used to love this moisturizer. Now I don't know if I love it as much anymore. I feel like it doesn't absorb into my skin as well anymore. I don't know, but I have to pack for Portugal because I'm going to Portugal tomorrow. This is the state of my room. And it's not like super messy, but I used to have a desk right here. Now it's in the living room. You know, I'm supposed to be packing for Portugal, but my mind got distracted. But Jimmy wanted the desk to be out in the living room because he works from home one day a week and he doesn't like being, I guess he doesn't like being in this room while he's working. Like he wants to be out in the living room so that if I'm out there or the dogs are out there, he's not like as lonely. So I told him he could move my desk and use it because he'd probably use it more than me and I guess I'm just that nice. I got this mirror on coupon. It's like a mirror with lights, so. I'm gonna try and put it on that desk, so. Jimmy's home. Sit. Oh my Never gosh. Sit. She's so funny. Okay guys, this is my mirror. Jimmy, you wanna see? Ooh! Whoa, that's nice. I'm trying to make this table work so I don't get another desk. Babe, you can just get another desk. Because you stole mine? No, because I want everyone on YouTube to see how nice I am. I'm the nice one! So I'm thinking maybe I put my makeup stand here. Yeah, like, I mean, sorry, like my makeup drawer. drawers here. But I need something, I think, to like... Hide the cords. But I might just use the makeup stand to hide the cords. Uh -oh. What are you going to do over there? Once I ask Jimmy an organizing or cleaning question, he like wants to be in control and give me so much advice. I saw your face. Like automatically you were like, okay, how can I make this the most efficient? What is a husband for <laughs> if not to give advice? <laughs> Especially unsolicited <laughs> advice. Okay guys, well you can really see my palm. Does anybody want to read my palm? Anyways, so I finished the room. What time? So I kept my shoes here. I put a plant here and then I put the clothing rack there. I organized that what's in the basket. I moved the mirror. Bookshelf stay there because I'm not strong enough to move it. Well, I'm strong enough, but I'm too lazy. I don't want to take all this stuff. Off. And then I made the desk work. I put it there and I love this mirror, you guys. Like, that's so nice. And then I'm going to put like my everyday makeup here. I got this really pretty makeup stand from Beauty of Joseon. It was like a PR package. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the vlog. I'll talk to you guys later and see you in Portugal. Probably be there by now. Bye.